What's up everyone and welcome to Labs with LAM. Today we're going to be taking a look at some double displacement reactions. As always, please make sure you've taken a look through the procedure, but once you've done that, grab your observation table and let's do this thing. We've got a lot of chemicals to go through this time, so we'll just do a quick scroll through. What's more important here is the color of each chemical that we're using. The chemicals of note here are iron 3 chloride and copper 2 sulfate, which I've placed near the front for you. Take a note of the starting color of these solutions. Every other solution we're working with is clear. Alright, so let's get started with these reactions. First up, we are putting in a few drops of magnesium chloride. And to that, we'll be adding sodium hydroxide. Try to be as descriptive as possible with your observations here, even if it doesn't look like there's a huge change. Next, we've got iron 3 chloride. Just a reminder, notice that it's already yellow. And again, we're adding sodium hydroxide to the solution. Make sure that you're observing the changes that occur. Now we'll be mixing potassium chloride with sodium sulfate. Again, try to be as descriptive as possible with what you see happening. All right, almost done here. This time we're starting with calcium chloride. And then we're adding some silver nitrate. And the last mixture for part one, we've got copper 2 sulfate, which we can see is already blue. And to that, we're going to add some sodium phosphate. And I'll give you one last close-up of each of the mixtures. Alright, so now we're looking at part two of the experiment where we're going to be working with some solids. First up, I've got sodium carbonate. And I'm going to be adding some hydrochloric acid to it. We might want a bit of an instant replay for that one. And for our very last reaction, I'm going to take some solid ammonium chloride. And I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide to it. Now, I'm going to help you out. We can see just a little bit of bubbling here, but what you're not experiencing at home is the very strong smell when you waft it. It's very pungent, and if I had to describe it, I would say that it reminds me of cleaning products. All right, so that's it for the experiment. Best of luck with your write-up. If you find that you need a little extra help, please feel free to check out my other videos for tips and tricks on how to succeed in school. And as always, thanks for learning with Lamb.